Oh, well, who has the CEO on the first Hydrate Tuesday? Hope they're all well. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, we will give you a mail also. We're here today, so let's calm ourselves and let's start by saying, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and hell. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us as your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, Lord our Maker, Jesus our Mediator, Holy Spirit our Comforter. Today's reading is Isaiah 35, Isaiah 35. Isaiah 35 The desert mm. and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the feeble hands, steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool the thirsty ground, bubbling springs, in the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow, and a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor any ravenous beast. They will not be found there, but only the redeemed will walk there and those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. Isaiah 36 So we say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Of thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Amen. Continue through the Gospels of Luke 1, verses 5 to 25. At the time of Herod, king of Judea, there was a prince named Zachariah belonged to the priestly division of Abijah. His wife Elizabeth was also a descendant of Aaron. Both of them were upright in the sight of God, observing all the Lord's commandments 
of regulation were Muslim. But they had no children, was Elizabeth, was Bowen, and they were very well known in years. Once when South Carolina's division was in Newton, and he was serving as priest before the board, he was chosen by Watt, a daughter to the custom of the priesthood. He will enter the temple of the world and burn incense. When the time came for the burning of incense, okay, all the assembled workers up are praying outside. Then an angel of the world appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zachariah saw him, he was startled and was great by fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zachariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to give him the name John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the world. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from birth. Many of the people of Israel will he bring back to the Lord their God. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the Father to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous. To make with their people the fear of the Lord. Zachariah asked the angel, How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is well worn in years. The angel answered, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent. I'm not able to speak until the day of this happens. The flesh you do not believe my words. This will come true at the proper time. <clears throat> Meanwhile, the people are waiting for Zachariah and wonder why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, and could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple, but he kept making signs to them, but he was unable to speak. When this time of service was completed, he returned home. After this, his wife, Elizabeth, became pregnant and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he has shown his fear and taken away my despair among people. Amen. Shall we pray together? Lord of heaven and hell, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling of our own creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear 
of Pearl, but you live in his name. Mm. Well, now I have time for Simon Prayer. There are equally other things which are on your heart. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask. And do not allow us to be so in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, our Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> o Christ, the Master of Carpenter, who at the last and wound and nails purchased our salvation. We'll dwell in your tomb and your works of other worlds, so that we who come roughly into your land may here be fastened to a true beauty by your heart. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself. Give us peace at all times and in all ways. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayers today. Hopefully, we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.